One in five. According to the LAUSD school board, that's how many African American kids were suspended from Los Angeles schools in 2007, a higher percentage than any other racial group. Why? Because most African American kids probably don't have their dads. 60% of the African American boys at our school, in particular, are in foster care. Lack of parent involvement leaves idle time for kids to get in trouble. Here at Los Angeles Unified School District headquarters, the school board gave a committee about three months to come up with ways to reduce the suspension rate of African American students. It's been over four months and there have been no findings. So we went to the students, teachers, and administrators at John Muir Middle School in South Los Angeles to see if they had any solutions. I'll change and get everybody counseling maybe because I like a lot of African Americans, there are a lot of emotions in them that they can't let out. In South Central LA, and particularly, black boys don't have a sense of self because they don't have anyone to really model their behavior after, except what they see, which are gangbangers. Issues like these are being addressed by after school programs like the Boys to Men Enrichment Program, run by John Muir Middle School teachers Sean Rector and Don Norwood. Norwood and Rector would give him that tough love that a father would give him. Beyond supplying father figures, Boys to Men gives students a place to exercise. <laughs> gives them a chance to try new things, like film. <laughs> and helps them grow as people. <laughs> The cornerstone personal development, which is dealing with them as they grow and change. Talk about sex, history, lives, judge, fatherhood. In order for you to change, you have to help us help you change. They didn't succeed with every kid, but their percentage was a lot higher than, than the rest of the school and anything else I'd seen. They're successful because they know what these boys really need. All kids, all kids really want is love. Kids need to know they're important. At Boys to Men, they do. Sam Farber, Annenberg TV News.